Well, that's dry. And it seems to be pretty hard. Uh, and it dried relatively quickly. Um, if anything, I guess I could put another coat on it just, you know, um, you know, around the work surface so I don't have to keep taking all that crap down and waiting for it. Uh, but it seems to be pretty good. So, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these things. Oh, and what are these things? <laughs> well, these are, if you want to hook up a piece of coax and you want to go through the wall, you know, from inside out or outside in, whatever, uh, or through anything from in to out or even through another inner wall, uh, that's what these are for. You put a washer on each side, you drill your hole, put a wa larger washer on each side, put a little, you know, sealant caulk or something around it, tighten up here, that'll tighten it up, and then you have basically a winter, water, windproof connection going through the wall without, well, very, very little loss, if any. Uh, and then your connector from the antenna will screw on here, and then your jumper will screw on here and go into the radio. So that's a way to get through a wall. So, even concrete, I mean, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, I know guys that wrap these up, uh, except for the two ends, and they've actually poured foundations with these in it. <laughs> but you have to wrap it up and seal it, otherwise the, um, the, the uh, lime or whatever else is in the concrete could eventually uh, destroy them. But that's what they are. They come in different sizes. So, but anyway, uh, put those up here for now. And I put this, that's a short one. So let's take these and put these up here for now. But anyway, uh, like I said, the birdhouse thing should be uh, ready to be viewed. Uh, like I said, there's not, nothing going to be in it, but it should be ready for viewing uh, tomorrow which will be the first of the, of the new year. So, um, and other than that, uh, I'm just uh, getting ready to go in, but I want to put a coat of paint on the rest of this so tomorrow I can move this down and start working my way around. Um, so anyway, where was I? I have no idea. I, I want to get this done peroxide good idea to always keep peroxide q-tips and cotton in your work area because you never know and when you're going to get knit knit a bit of yeah, yeah, cut bit whatever the case may be um step on something so, and another good thing you want to keep fire extinguishers now i have to buy two new ones because these are getting like right there I mean they're close but there's not too much movement left in them so I gotta buy another set uh, of three I keep one in the house in the kitchen area I keep one here now and I'll have another one up forth up front so why do I keep saying up forth that sounds so stupid god anyway another one up front uh, I used to just keep two one up front and one in the kitchen but now I'm going to need three. So uh, I figured, what the hell, I'll pick up three more. So, uh, but these are things that are good to have around in your workshop. I've got a little, uh, little um, emergency med kit. Hasn't got a lot in it. It's got some gauze and some tape and some band-aids and some ointments and creams and, and stuff like that. Uh, back citration. I mean, it's got a few little things. Like I say, so if I got a little bleeding going on, I don't have to go dripping blood through the house to try to fix it to get to the bathroom or whatever. So uh, that's kind of how that works. But other than that, that's about it. Uh, snap on. You know, I, when I had my store, and before we moved on the boat, I had a snap on. Well, I had a couple of them, actually. I had a, a full snap-on uh, toolbox in my van. Uh, it wasn't a big one. It was like two feet wide, about a foot and a half or two feet deep, and it stood up about three feet, and I had it bolted up against the wall in my van. But snap-on and Mac 
were the only tools that I would really buy. Um, and when I sold the business, a lot of that went with it. Um, and when I got a hold of Snap-on to find out what I actually had tied up in tools with them, it was a little over $54,000. Uh, that's how much I had spent with Snap-on um, in three years when I had my store. Now, I didn't give them everything. I kept a toolbox that measured approximately five feet by, well, it stood up to my chin about, and I'm 6'4", so figure uh, another five, so five by five, all right, um, top and bottom. Uh, then I had a, a hanging side door, um, you know, or if you want to hang a coat up in it or something like that. I kept that one box, and that box had... It was full, but it was minimal because everything was sectioned out and sorted out in that particular box because I didn't want to empty the other box, but I needed enough tools to, you know, work uh, at the time because I was into old cars and motorcycles and things like that. So when we bought the house, uh, I wanted I had a three-car garage and uh, I had an old 50 Chevy and a couple of Harleys, so I wanted to have the tools. But then when we sold the house and moved on the boat, um, we didn't have another house. The, 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 the plan was we were going to buy another house and just put everything in storage for a few months. But we ended up living on the boat for four years. So I ended up selling all my tools uh, that I had taken when I sold the business. So I sold another, I don't know how many thousands of dollars worth of tools. So now I'm running around with a few little pieces here and there. You know, as you can see, some of the orange and red handles, those are snap-ons. Uh, that's, you know, some of the anniversary ones, the red boxes over there, those are snap-ons. I've got a couple snap-on sockets and ratchets laying around still. But uh, now, I'm not doing it a lot or so-called professionally. So, I, you know, now, I'll tell you, I like SK. Um, uh, Cobalt's not bad, but I have broken a few. They have the cobalt I find is a good unit. However, they haven't got a lot of teeth. The more teeth that's in the ratchet, the less it has to move to, to catch. You know, so if you're working in a tight spot, you know, and you got less teeth, sometimes you gotta move the ratchet more to get the amount of teeth to make it worth your while. So the more teeth that it has, the less you gotta move it. Um, and that's how uh, Snap-on I always found to be good. And the socket walls on Snap-on are thinner. So it's easier to fit them into tight places. And not only are they thinner, but they're still just as strong as the heavy ones. So, uh, but again, I'm too old to start spending lots of money on Snap-on. Especially money I really don't want to spend, nor do I really have to waste on tools. You know, so... Uh, I'm going to stick to Cobalt for now and maybe Sears. Sears has got some lifetime guarantees still on their Craftsman's. Um, but if I can find SK, I think I'm going to look for some SK and maybe I'll buy a set of SK and we'll see what happens. But again, other than that, uh, i got to get that penny, guys. I'm sitting here talking about nothing. Catch you later. Well, I figured as long as I had the brush and the roller out and wet, uh, it only took a few minutes to clutter up that corner real quick and clean this off and clutter that up real quick. So I took everything that was kind of just lingering there uh, and over here and I uh, just did it and I did another coat on top of that. So this is done to there. Tomorrow that'll be dry. Then I can, as I bring that stuff back over, I can organize it. Uh, as I get this stuff over, I can organize it. A lot of this, though, is tools. So I'm probably going to have to make a small drawer or something to go underneath so I can throw the tools in temporarily. So, now I made a drawer. Oh, Jesus. About four years ago. And I think it's in that shed back there. So... I'll go back there and look tomorrow, and if I have it, all I have to do is build a set of runners for it. So, but basically that's where we're at. I may do something with that green. I don't know. 
I mean, it really doesn't bother me, but yeah, let's see what happens. Uh, I put some of on the primer. Whatever I had left on the roller on the brush before I stuck it in the cleaner, I just figured I'm just going to roll it on the birdhouse. It doesn't hurt. I got to paint it anyway, so, you know, whatever's on there is only going to help. It's not going to hurt, so. So that's where I'm at. And like I say, the camera in there uh, will be posted. So tomorrow, hopefully, when I post the video tomorrow night, it'll have a link to the camera that's in there. However, you're not going to see anything other than the inside uh, or whatever you might be able to see through the opening, you know, the hole that I put in there. But other than that, you're really not going to see anything in there. You know, maybe a little sawdust, you know, little uh, cedar chips uh, and stuff like that until it actually starts being used. So, but, uh, so that's where we're at, guys. So, have a good holiday tonight. Have a safe Think smart, don't get stupid, and just because it's New Year's doesn't mean you have to get slammed or hammered, all right, beyond where you have no idea what you're doing. So, you know, uh, just take it easy, you know, nurse the drink, how's that, all right, have a little bit and pretend you're drunk. And then you can watch all the other stupid people that are out there that are drinking and getting drunk and uh, have a good laugh. <laughs> so, uh, do what you got to do. Enjoy yourself. Just be safe doing it. Have a good one. Catch you later.